Hello everyone, it's Peter here again from Renew Me. Thank you so much for coming by and having a look at the videos. You know that I really, really do appreciate it, everybody that comes by. And I hope all of you are starting to learn and benefit from the videos and from the facial exercises. So what I'm going to be doing today is talking about the nose, the bridge of the nose, and this area here. So um, a lot of people have contacted me and asked me if I would do another video on the nose. And this time what I'm going to be doing is talking about how to lift up this area here. Now we're just going to be exercising this muscle across here. There's a little muscle that goes across. And if you go to the comments um, in the section below where I put all my links, you'll find a link to the muscles of the face. So what I want you to do is have a look at this muscle right across the nose bridge and that's the one we're going to be working on. Now the other thing about this exercise that's really important is that you use that mind-body connection and use visualisation to help you achieve the nose that you're wanting to have. Um, and now I know that a lot of people can be very frustrated with their facial features but do you know what? I discovered the best thing about facial exercises is that when you're doing facial exercises, by exercising the muscles, your face will go to where it is meant to be. Your face will determine what your features are meant to be through facial exercise. It is the most natural, natural process to do facial exercises. Because if you go and have your face um, with surgery to have your face changed, that is like a man-made thing. That is like a man making, not so, I don't mean a man, it could be a woman doing it, but it is a person cutting and sculpting the muscles and the skin. So when you're doing facial exercise, you don't have to worry about any of that. All it is, is that your face will go back to its natural state. So when you were about 20, maybe 25, um, could have been when you're in the prime of your life, that's where your face should be going back to, that sort of shape. Now, I'm here to tell you it's not going to be perfect because you can see I'm not perfect and my face uh, wrinkles are not, they're still there. So if you just keep doing your facial exercises, you will totally rejuvenate your face back to where you were in the prime of your life and it will go back into the perfect shape that it should be. And that is the absolute miraculous thing about our body, is that it knows what to do. So all you have to do is just give it a little bit of a push along. Okay, so I'm talking about this, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm talking about this because it's the same with our nose. If you have a look at your nose when you're in your teens or in your um, 20s and 30s, that is where your nose is meant to be. That is the shape that your nose is meant to be. Now, if you're, the, the thing about the nose and the ears is that they just keep growing. So as you age and as you grow older, your nose keeps growing and your ears keep growing. And my husband even asked me uh, yesterday, why is there ear hairs and not hair on his head? Which I thought was quite funny, but anyway. Anyway, it was really quite funny, but you had to be there. But anyway, so this is what the situation is. So I, I can't really do an exercise for the ears, but certainly if you exercise your nose, and you're thinking it's getting longer or droopier or something's happening to it, start exercising that nose and you will find it will absolutely return to where it was when you were young. Okay, so this is the exercise that I'm going to do. What I want you to do is use this section of your fingers. You're going to place it on this part of your face and you're going to push up. Now, there's, as you push up, there's a little ridge here there's a little, sort of little ridge where this muscle sits over. So I want you to use your knuckles to lock into that little ridge, okay? Then I want you to just close um, your nose, close it over, not all the way. Don't press it all the way, just close it over. Now you breathe through your mouth. And you can look up if you want, doesn't matter, but it will help if you look up. But as you look up, don't scrunch your eye, your, your forehead. Just concentrate on this area of your nose. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just flex that area. None of this. Don't need to do any of that. Okay? All you need to do is master this one little muscle and flex that one little muscle. Okay? So let's have a go. Now as you 
flex it, it's like um, you're trying to flare the nose. You don't even have to flare the nose. It will flare a little bit naturally. But this will help shape your nose to where it should be. Okay, so this exercise will help shape your nose to the natural place that it should be. So if you keep doing that exercise, what will happen is this muscle over here will strengthen, the skin across the muscle will start to tighten and it will start to lift. And you will notice a real difference once you start doing this. I've noticed it on mine. I've changed the way of doing my nose exercise. I've been doing this one for about, I'd say about a week. And it really is a really good exercise. Now after a while it becomes really strong this area. It, it starts to build up. Now the other benefit of doing this is it, it helps build up this area here. Now we do tend to bag in this area as well. There's little muscles under here and there's very delicate skin here. So what, once you start exercising that area, now the only reason why I'm doing that is I want to show you what I'm doing, but you have to close it into the nose a bit, okay? And you can see it's just that area there. Now, I would really like your feedback on that. Uh, people who are starting to do that exercise, if you do that exercise for around six weeks, after six weeks, so what are we in September, October, middle November, I'd really like to hear some uh, feedback about that exercise because it's around six weeks where you start seeing the difference. Now the only reason why I'm seeing difference in mine is because I exercise my face every day and I also eat a lot of protein. So they're the things that you need to do. You need to do it every day and you need to eat a lot of protein. And I would suggest for you to eat plant protein a clear clean protein. If, you, if you're a meat eater, eat, eat meat protein, that's fine. But that is what's going to help you absolutely start to build the muscles on your face. And it's absolutely going to go back to where you look, to that natural place where you look in the prime of your life. Alright guys, well I hope that's really helped you. I hope for you guys that have asked for the videos that, that you'll get stuck into it. Really love to hear some comments below about this exercise. Any questions, just ask me and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much guys. Bye now. Mm -hmm.